Hey, welcome to vlog number 10, part 3, the last part of the day trip from Wroxham on the Norfolk Broads. Today I decided I'd delve into the history of the Norfolk Broads, just to give you an understanding about this beautiful scenery that I'm showing you in Norfolk. Back in the 12th century, Norfolk was one of the most densely populated areas of England. Woodlands were being cleared as source of timber and fuel, but the supply started to dwindle, so another source had to be found. From the 12th century up to the 16th century, they started building massive trenches in the ground, which were dug out to, out to abstract the peat from the ground. This was used as a source of fuel instead of using the precious timber supplies. The digging and abstraction of the peat was a hard and unpleasant task, all done by hand as there were no machines available or built to automate the process. During the 13th century to the 15th, the workforce digging the peat was mostly wiped out due to the bubonic plague and other factors. Then the rising of the tides from the sea started to flood the trenches, creating what we see in front of us today. Here we are now. Here we are now coming up to Howe Hill. It's a place where I have camped in the past in a tent when I was younger. There's also one of these lovely windmills. There's quite a few that have still been restored if you're working. They're beautiful. Years ago they were used for as water pumps and for grinding grain and such like. A lot of them have gone into disrepair but there's a few like this one that have been restored and kept in, in good working order. So this is Howe Hill on the River Ant going up towards Sutton, Stalham, Potter Hyam. It's a nice mooring area here. This is another free mooring spot. The river Ant is a lot thinner than than the other rivers on the Norfolk Broads. It's also very windy, but very beautiful. Plenty of things to see on the way. Beautiful view of the Howe Hill building there. Absolutely gorgeous. And up above, up, up in front, up in front is another mill, another windmill. Looks like that's also in working order. In the 16th century, Norfolk, the Norfolk Wherry was introduced as a viable way of transporting large amounts of goods around Norfolk using the waterways of the Norfolk Broads. This was phased out in the late 18th to the early 19th century as vans and lorries took on this task. There is one wherry that has been renovated called the Albion which is used for taking out parties on the Broads. Norfolk wherry are large wooden sailcraft specifically made back in the day for carrying goods. 
I hope this has helped you understand a little bit more about the Norfolk Broads and where they come from and that they're now used today just mainly for leisure purposes and thousands and thousands of people every year, mostly in the summertime, descend on the Norfolk Broads as a way of having a nice relaxing holiday. There is also quite a few people that live full time on the Broads as well in the future i'd hopefully i'd like to give it a go myself for a little while or maybe interview somebody else who's actually doing that if i can get hold of somebody gorgeous windmill this one there's a private broad there Plenty of people sitting out enjoying the sun and fishing like a head. This mill is one that's not like a building, it's just like a frame with a mill on top, windmill, sail on top. So it's actually working, looks like it's one of the ones that was used as like some kind of water pump. Here we are now, we're coming up to Barton Broad on the River Ant. Beautiful bit, big part of the river. Expands out. Most of the broads you actually like turn off the main river into it. Where Barton Broad is like Parts of the river end. So we just follow it round to the right hand side. And it's absolutely fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so I thought I'd take some photo of me talking and then viewing me. You can see the smile on my face. And then 
enjoying these views. And this is actually in Stein. Outside, the gorgeous wind. This is absolutely beautiful. Can't wait to enjoy it. Beautiful wildlife, beautiful scenery. Beautiful weather, glorious weather. I just love this, I love being near the water. Nothing better than being near the water. My old man drives me along here, steering me along. We would say loving blue. I agree with that. Again, we better do Big thanks to my dad for hiring out the boat for me today. Bless him with a treat. Take some gorgeous video of the broads, some gorgeous pictures. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, we are London Bridge. Yeah, so thanks peeps. Thanks for watching this channel. I hope you really enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe and comment below. It's all greatly appreciated. And until next time, from me, it's goodbye.